Welcome to the video guys. So today we are going to make a blend of Ready or Not and Door Kickers 2. So on the screen here we've got a definitely not one-to-one -one replica of the 4U gas station mission um, in Ready or Not. So if you guys want to go back and watch the video I'll link it up above but we did do a walkthrough on that mission using our actual SWAT team gear. So like I said, I'll link that up in the corner for you guys to go and watch. Um, but one thing that we talk about in there is kind of how unrealistic a lot of the things are. So with that being said, it's very difficult to walk through the tactics um, exactly how we would like to do it in Ready or Not as we're playing through a mission. So I decided, hey, instead of not doing a good job of explaining tactics there, uh, I'll just recreate the map recreate in air quotes the map uh here on door kickers and we'll bring our five-man squad in here to show you a little bit better the angles and the reasons why we do one thing or another here so i tried to make this as close to the mission as possible and we're going to bring our five assaulters so it's you as the team leader and then your red and blue team so we've got pretty much the same loadout as what we carry in ready or not so we've got a mark 18 suppressed with a hollow sight um, as a team leader we're just bringing two flashbangs and the breach and shotgun then our other guys are going to have flashbangs and dynamic hammers or flashbangs and gas uh, flashbang dynamic hammer flashbang and gas so that's sort of how we set up our red and blue team when we're playing ready or not so we'll go ahead and get started um, we don't have the going in blind mod on for this uh, just so we can use this as a teaching tool so we'll get everyone off of silent mode and i made the map so i know that there's not anyone out here behind us um, but you know as we would approach the structure we would want to you know make sure our perimeter is clear in the mission briefing they tell us that patrol is already on scene and they've got a perimeter set um, so We've cleared out this side of the structure. We would like to go ahead though and finish the 360 and make sure that no one is on the exterior here. So we are going to move along the path out this way and we're going to come on up to this side. We'll get the whole team to come this way. As we're coming across, we're of course going to watch these doors, make sure that no one's about to pop out at us. So we will let these guys pick up on these doors as they come across. And we would start our movement around the exterior of the building. So we've got multiple muzzles pointed at the front of the store, this side door, and then we've got one person leading the way up front. So as we start to come around this corner, we're clearing more and more. Again, we've still got guys holding our rear. All right, so he's cleared out pretty much this entire side by himself. We'll let the rest of the team catch up here. And now we're just gonna be worried really about the front of the building and this door. He's gonna be watching all the way over here. We'll make a heavy head, so we'll have two people come across. And we will start to move our guys this way. So again, we don't know if there's anyone on the outside of the structure. We just want to clear it out the best we can without making entry. We want to get as much recon on the building as we can. So we would call out here, you know, that we've got some glass doors uh, that are going to lead into what we know is the dining area of this little restaurant. So as we do that, we do still want to go ahead and push past unless we saw someone right here or again, unless we heard gunshots, something like that, that was going to force us into the building. Uh, but right now we just want to clear up the perimeter. So we're going to have Biggles here pick up on the door. We'll go ahead and have two guys pick up on the door. Rimmer now can come to here and he can help watch this direction. And Jones is going to be watching our rear. So 
as we get these guys set up here, what we want to do is we want to roll across this door. So we want to have these guys coming across um, with their muzzles pointed in while these guys push around the outside of them and their muzzles are pointed this way the whole time. That way, if we do start taking shots from this direction, we've already got our plates toward the enemy and we've got our muzzles up. So we will start to roll across this with these two. And as we do that, these guys will push straight across to that corner. And we'll end up leaving Jones back here to watch our rear. So timing might be off here slightly just because of the game, but as you can see, we're rolling. Okay, we got good shots on that guy as we came across here. So these guys were totally safe the whole time. We ended up catching a dude through here through the front door, through that glass uh, serving counter, and then it back in, into the kitchen. So we're going to have just one little side of the structure left that we want to clear from the outside. So we're going to go ahead and leave Jones here to watch the back. We're going to leave these two guys here to watch into the building this way. We'll go ahead and leave them here. And then we can two man clear around the other side of this. So we'll go ahead and get these guys look in this direction now, and we will push them across. Again, the farther off we stay from this cover, uh, the better odds we have of seeing someone before they see us. So now we've done a complete 360 of the structure. Um, we'll go ahead and we will make entry now. So we've already taken shots through the front door up here. So we'll get stacked up and ready to come in this way. So there is, of course, still the possibility that someone could open these doors or someone could open this or someone could open these uh, and they could flank all the way and get us. We're going to go ahead and not worry about that. Uh, we're going to assume that patrol is doing their job on their perimeter. And if someone ran out from one of these walls or uh, doors, rather, they would radio that and cover down on them and let us know what's going on. Uh, so we're not too concerned about watching our rear cover anymore at this point. We're going to go ahead and get ready to make entry. So we'll get these guys stacked up. Get them oriented the proper direction. And now we want to make entry. So we're going to have him get a flashbang into here. And this is a bit of an interesting situation here. So. In the game, they sort of have like these frosted glass like deals on top of all of these booths um, that make it very difficult to see through. Uh, so we went ahead and just made walls because I'm not going to try and spend like 30 hours making a perfect ready or not one-to-one -one replica here. Uh, but we're just trying to get the basic ideas down here. So we're going to get a flashbang in and we'll start to roll our guys in. So... Flashbang goes out and we can make entry. So this is a center fed room. We're set up on opposite sides of the door. Uh, so it is kind of a large door. That's all right. I prefer to push my guys across. So we're going to have number one push to here. Number two will come here and we just go every other. Number three is going to come here or to this side. And then we'll get five to fill in the gap here. So these guys start moving in. We've got lots of area that we need to keep covered. So for the moment, we're going to push Jones to here. We're going to let him take this corner. He wants to clear this space right here. He's watching. Blue here is watching this direction. And he can see this door. So we want to keep a muzzle pointed on that door. We're going to push Bremer up. He's watching this direction. To see if anyone comes through this kitchen area where we've already taken contact. And we're going to send these two into this room, essentially. So we're going to have one guy come here. Another guy here. Okay. 
then once of course once he sees this wall he doesn't need to just stare there and like drive his gun all the way into the wall um, if there's no targets there then we'll bypass that so now we can start to move these guys up i'm going to leave jones watch in this direction we're going to push cobra up to here to watch here and we can start to move brimmer down this way a little bit to see if he's got a better angle this direction as he does that we're going to take this first bit of the corner so i like to push him up because he's going to get the best angle and then after he clears here he can look this direction Holding. and then we would come in with this guy nice so same deal here we want to push along the wall here we'll clear this and continue to clear this with him Holding. okay that's all clear He's got a nice view down this way. We're gonna get him to pie this. All while he comes to here, he's got a good angle down this direction. Okay. So he's gonna need to clear this bit out. And now we'd like to have him pick up here because we've got he's got a lot of doors and things that he can see this direction. So this guy's got two closed doors over here. We do have this little spot that we need to clear out still. So I'm gonna bring Brimmer around to here and we'll have him peek that. Again, this isn't set up exactly perfect. Uh, these are booths and whatnot. So we would be able to see a little bit, but we wanna go ahead and clear it out all the way. So next we're gonna move these guys down to here. So we'll get Brimmer here, clear that, and then pick up down here. And then these two can flow down this direction. So once they are past this spot here, um, we've got a couple options. We can either continue to clear this, which is what we would probably do with these two. Um, and he's gonna continue to watch this way through here. So this is when you know, with only five operators, um, you're going to have to start making decisions on what direction you want to go. Um, like we use in the game, we use some wedges and we do that because, you know, in a real SWAT raid, uh, we're not just going to have five guys. We're going to have like 20 dudes with us. I mean, we're going to be able to flow in here and dominate pretty quickly, um, picking up all of these angles. But with only five, you got to make some sacrifices. So we're going to get these guys set up here. Get ready to make entry over here and uh, we're going to quickly clear out the rest of this with these two so looks like we messed that up a little bit can't quite squeeze a guy through there so he's going to roll through we'll have him come behind and he's going to want to check this check here move up here while he comes down to here again we're doing some single man clears They're here. okay so not sure where uh, they're shooting from yet but we've got all of our angles covered so far these guys are watching this door he's got eyes on these doors we're going to continue to clear this bit and uh jones here is going to be able to see this door if someone swings it open but we'll push forward just a little bit Again, okay, we found him there. We do want to clear out these last little sections. Holding. And that's going to be all clear this direction. So, we've got a couple of options. I think the best bet, since we've got so many threats on this side, is going to be to bring one guy here uh, who's in cover right now. He's going to continue to watch that. We'll get these guys across this way. And we'll get ready to make entry on this side. So we are going to lose him for a second because we want to watch our door. Uh, but now we can give up on these uh, for the moment. We'll get him to watch this door. And we should be good to go in with these three. So we'll get set up.
So we're going to have one guy ready to kick the door, one guy ready to make entry, and then he is watching this door behind us. So we got that door kicked open. We've pretty much cleared this entire bit so far on our own. So we are going to push in with these guys, and we're going to have a bunch of doors that we need to pick up on. So uh, there's no way for anyone to come out um, through here. So we're going to go ahead and bring this guy in so that we can actually make entry into some of these rooms. So like you can see here, we've got three doors and we've only got two operators. So we need at least two people to go into a room. So we'll have him hold these two doors and we'll get these guys ready to make entry. All right, so we'll kick this door. Don't see anyone. We'll run in, clear this corner and then pick back up on the door. And get a second guy in here. We'll do the same thing again. Get our gun in the door, ready covering this guy as he kicks it open. All right, so now we've met back up into this direction and we've got one open door here, two doors here, one here, and this guy's still waiting there. So as we kick this door open, we are gonna go ahead and make entry. So I'm gonna have him hold short here. We'll check this hard corner and then hold long. As he comes in, he's gonna hold on that door. Make sure we got that whole deal there. All right, so from here, uh, we got a couple of options. We need to get more guys over here. We're gonna need two guys to make entry here, and we don't know what's waiting on the other side of this. So right now, uh, we've talked about this in some videos before, how we wanna consolidate forces. So right now we've got one guy wasted on this door I don't want to say wasted. He's holding our back. So one guy watching our back here and one guy watching these two doors here. So how can we consolidate that? What we can do is we can bring Jones in to here. We can bring, bring Bremer to here. And then we'll just have one guy watching our back this way. And then we'll have three operators to continue on this, this way. So I'm going to have Bremer watching a general that way direction as he moves up. Jones is going to watch this way as he gets up into here. And then he'll be able to join the team. Okay, so as that switches over, we're also going to bring Bremer up. And Bremer is going to watch our back. Okay. So we'll go ahead and bring him all the way back into here so that he's got good coverage for our rear. He couldn't quite see all three doors at the same time. So we'll just have him wait. Again, real world, you're gonna be able to use more than just your, your literal line of sight. You'll be able to use your vision uh, as well as your hearing this here when these doors open. But now you can see we've consolidated these three doors um, into just one. So now these guys can make entry. So I'm gonna push Biggles across and we're gonna have him watch down here. Okay, got him. And then we can see two doors here. So we quickly are going to want to get this door kicked open. All right, so that's cleared. Now we can get multiple guys over here. So we've got two doors down here, one door here. So what we will do is we will push one down and these two are gonna make entry in right here. So he's going to be able to watch these two doors while these guys breach here. Okay. Uh, we have been doing a lot of shooting and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and get a bang in here before we make entry. Flash out. So number one is going to push into the known. He's going to be looking at the unknown. And then number two, we'll take east corner all right so these guys are good to go now they can communicate um, typically with a flashlight or radio comms but we can shine his light under this door now we know that this Holding. that we can meet up together here he's still watching our back and now we've got more guns in the fight so 
we can actually um we got two small rooms here as well as this uh, which is going to lead back out into the front entryway um, so what we can do is we can hold this with two i've got no problem with that hold this with two and we can start to clear back this way with these guys so we'll just have them wait for a second so we've got two doors here so we actually can't do this with two guys holding we'd have to leave just one to hold which is totally fine uh, as you can see here we've got two operators and two doors if we were to take this door we would leave our backs exposed to this door so we're going to need someone to cover that so we'll bring macaulay back here he'll watch down there holding he'll hold here all right so now we can roll this door and get ready to make entry we'll go ahead and push him past as well he is watching this door get him set up ready to make entry and we will kick this door all right another larger room so we'll go ahead and get a flashbang in flash out. all right flash goes off we'll we're sort of set up on opposite sides of the room here. We're in, we're in a center fed room. So we'll have number one push across and he will take his back. Okay, we've got a little bit of dead space here, but we can communicate now under the door again uh, with flashlight that we've met up with each other. So I want him to hold here. He's got a lot of root doors that he needs to watch. We're gonna have Jones hold here. And we were gonna bring him back and around in. So he can now watch these doors. He can watch these doors. And we can one man clear that last little corner. Okay, good to go. So now we will hold here. He's gonna watch these three doors. And these two can make entry up here. Go ahead and kick that. Okay, got another bad guy. Uh, we've got a very short room here, so we'll do the same as before though. We will go into the known while looking at the unknown. We'll push him in and he would come in right behind. All right, so this is clear. And now we can communicate up that we've taken this area. So he no longer needs to be watching in this direction. So he can join the fight, bring him around and in. And we'll get these guys set back up for these doors. We'll have him do that on the double. You can stop staring at that corner. All right, so now we've got two guys watching this door and two guys ready to come into this door. So we'll go ahead and get them oriented properly. And we'll kick here. Let's go ahead and get a... So this guy's out of flashes. That's all right. Um, we've cleared the majority of the room from the outside already. So we'll just do what we've been doing. We're going to run into the known while looking at the unknown. And then number two is going to come into the unknown. Boom. So you see, the reason we do that um, is because we get two muzzles pointed in this corner very fast. Um, let's say we had Cobra here come in right here and say that there's a bad guy right there he starts putting rounds on we obviously want two guns pointed at the bad guy if we can so for macaulay to get his gun into the fight he's gonna have to go all the way around uh before he can put his gun back up so by going long with him and short with him as soon as he enters the room he's right on his tail and you can put and your both your muzzles are pointed in this corner so that's the reason we do that we'll pick back up on this door and let's see what we've got so typically we're going to open from the door handle side so i'm going to go ahead and swap these guys so he's ready to make entry and we'll have him kick the door all right let's get a flash in here flash out and again we'll push into the known while looking at the unknown and then number two is going to take the unknown. 
Okay, perfect. These guys can stop staring at this door. Um, so we've got one more door down here. We're just going to go ahead and take that with these two. Let's go ahead and get these guys back out to here so that we can continue doing work. Uh, that's a common thing that you're going to hear people say is look for work. So these guys, their work was holding this door. Now they need to go find some new work because we've cleared out behind it. So they're going to go find work to do over here. So we'll move them out and we will get these guys ready to make entry to this next piece. Can look at the door. All right. So now that we've got everyone set up here, Biggles is going to be holding long. He's going to be watching these two doors as these guys get ready to make entry. Okay. I want to push him past a little bit. Uh, we are in super cramped quarters here, though. So in a situation like this, we may... Uh, you know, if we can't fit all these guys across, we may have to bring him to this side. Um, so that he can make entry. All right, we will push into the known while looking at the unknown. That's cleared. So we'll quickly get them out so that we can take the next room. We can stop looking in that corner. We're gonna have you kick this. Same deal. Look into the known or go into the known, looking at the unknown, and then he will take that corner. Perfect, another small room cleared. And now we can get ready to make entry over here. Get these guys all set up. So as this was happening, we could have been over here also working this door. So we're gonna get him to kick here. Uh, we got a center fed room here. Can't see quite as much. Uh, he is out of flashbangs. He's out of flashbangs. So it is what it is. Uh, we're going to have to pick which side we're going into. Um, we're not in a rush, so we can actually pie this door a little bit and see what we can see. So we're pretty well cleared to this side. We can see a wall. Um, so we're going to go ahead and send Macaulay in first. Uh, path of least resistance. So he will flow across here. And he will take his back. Okay. And then we've got a window here that we're going to want to pick up on immediately. So let's see what all we can see from this side. All right. So a lot of that is cleared. We'll go ahead and make entry with these guys now. Okay. Good cross coverage set up as the door swings open. We take out that bad guy. Let's get a flash in. Flash out. So we will push him into the known. We'll have him here, here to the unknown. As that happens, we'll have him take that corner and he will fill up the middle. Okay. So again, this is that for you gas station mission. So these are just set up as the aisles. Can't really see through them. Uh, so we just set up quick little walls. So we'll go ahead and get these guys to join the party over here we'll let them start working on that but we are going to continue clearing um, with the guys that we have already so we would like to we're going to call this aisle clear we still need to clear out this aisle so i'd like to bring biggles out here give him a nice long angle that direction and then we will push in here with these two um, okay, so as we come across, we see more angles this way. Holding. So we've pretty much cleared out both of these aisles. So we'll start to push up together. Holding as many angles as we can at the same time. Okay, so now he's kind of got a larger chunk of this uh, than I think is fair for having this many people here. So we're going to start to move these guys up to here and he can slowly come around this way. We're going to have one person join up with him and he can continue with them. All right. So we're just trying to take all these angles as we can. So 
One thing we need to worry about here is getting into a blue on blue situation. So what we don't want to do is push these guys across, looking this way to clear this out um, while these guys are pushing in here to clear out this corner. We only want to do one at a time because if we send them at the same time as these guys and there's a bad guy standing right here, um, we're going to end up possibly sending rounds into our teammates. So we're going to send the long guys first. That actually clears that out for them. And now we can move them up a little bit more. And same deal. We're just going to continue to clear uh, from as far off of these angles as we can. As you can see, these guys can't see shit from over here um, if they were trying to clear out all this way. But the farther we're set off from this piece of cover with these guys, we can see all the way far down into this direction. So we'll get these guys to start clearing out this way. Same deal. We have them stop short. And now they can pick up on these doors. Uh, we can communicate that that's clear all the way across. And we'll push these guys in here. Clear out the last bit of aisles. All right, so this is all clear. So now we can all collapse onto this door. So we'll have one guy holding that coverage onto the door. We'll go ahead and get our number one man to kick. He's out of flashbangs. He's got some bangs, so we'll move him up in the stack a little bit. And we'll get a flashbang in. And we've got a center fed room. We're pretty much all set up on the same side of the door here. Um, so there's two options. You can either have number one man go path of least resistance, flow straight across, and number two man is going to button hook. Uh, just keep in mind that that's not right. It's also not wrong. Um, you can either go path of least resistance, flow in while number two man button hooks, or you can have the first guy button hook and the second guy flow across. Um, if you take the extra second to button hook as number one man, um, number two is going to be right on your tail. So if there's someone waiting in this corner, he's going to get his gun on him faster, um, as opposed to if there's a guy in this corner and you flow least resistance across, it's going to take your second guy a minute before he gets his muzzle up. So I prefer to have number one man do a sort of center check um, and then come in and button hook while number two flows straight across uh, is my preferred method on how to do this. So this is the last room here. And so we actually get him on the center check uh, as we're going to make our button hook there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that mission. Um, it's just a little bit different of a deal um, talking about a ready or not mission and doing it as door kickers too. Um, like we said before, I kind of feel like ready or not just doesn't do a great job of real world SWAT tactics. Uh, your guys are constantly, your, your trained group of SWAT operators are constantly yelling uh, where they are, what they're doing. Um, you don't have enough guys to do the mission if you would normally. They send you on missions that aren't really set out for SWAT. Like this mission in particular, it's really just an active shooter type situation. Um, so patrol is already set up on scene here, doing their own thing. And we just kind of show up uh, to clear it out. So a little bit unrealistic, but like I said in that video, um, again, if you guys will check that one out, um, the problem is that you can't really stop and teach the tactics here or the reasons why what you're doing. Um, and sometimes, you know, I like to use door kickers because it's a little bit better at showing why we're doing what we're doing, how the angles are covered, what doors need to be opened first, uh, what doors can stay closed, how you can consolidate forces, stuff like that. So if you guys enjoy this type of video, um, go ahead and drop a like, say something down in the comments. That way I know uh, that you guys like this because it did take a minute to make this definitely not one-to-one -one replica scale of the for you gas station so if you guys are like this is the stupidest video i've ever seen in my life and thumbs down i hate it never do it again uh let me know and i won't uh because i don't want to put forth all of this if you guys are like oh this is garbage we hate it so hopefully you guys were able to pick up a few things here and there on why we do what we do we tried to set up our team uh, with the same loadouts that we use and ready or not um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel 
Make sure your notifications are turned on. I do plan on making a video here soon for Ready or Not and the equipment there. Why we would use the equipment that we do. Um, like I said, we use wedges and whatnot in Ready or Not because we don't have enough operators to hold all the angles that we normally would. And you also can't get the guys to do what you want them to do half the time. So uh, that'll be the end for this video. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, drop a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.